This is Oppo F27 5G smartphone and in this video I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of this smartphone. So if you are planning to purchase this phone or if you have already bought this then this video can be helpful for you. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. You can make a call to your nearby friends even if you don't have internet or any kind of signal in this smartphone. Simply open your settings and then click on mobile network. There you will see the option of beacon link. Click on this and then enable this. Then with the help of this, you will be able to call your nearby people even if you don't have mobile signal or internet connection with the help of Bluetooth. If you're using your phone with a single hand, then it feels really uneasy to reach at the corner and open any of these apps. But there's a gesture by which you can easily open these apps. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on more. There you will see the option of icon pull down gesture. Click on this and then enable this. Now whenever you are on home screen, you can swipe up like this and then it will drag all the apps around your thumb. Simply open any app like this. You can also enable this cool looking light around the camera for your incoming calls, games, etc. Let me show you how you can enable and customize this. Simply open your settings and then scroll down there. You will see the option of wallpaper and style. Click on this. Now scroll down to the bottom and then click on breathing light. There you will see in the preview how it will look in your smartphone it will enable for charging incoming calls notification and while playing the music and as well as for the games to enable this simply enable this breathing light and to change colors click on breathing light colors here you have different option for different actions you can set for calls as you can see it will change the color for notification you can also set a different color and for games music etc you can set your favorite color and then whenever you will play music or someone will call you, it will blink that light around the camera. If you want to monitor your real time internet speed in your status bar, then you don't have to download any third party apps. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on notification and status bar. Then click on status bar and then enable real time network speed. Then it will start showing your internet speed in your status bar. If you will long press the power button, then it will launch the Google Assistant app instead of the power menu. But if you want to change it to power menu, then simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on additional settings. There you will see the option of power button. Click on this and then click on this press and hold the power button. By default, it is selected to voice assistant. You have to select power menu. Now, if you will long press the power button, it will launch the power menu. But if you want to keep the power button as voice assistant, now if you want to launch your power menu, then simply press the power button and volume up button at the same time, then it will open your power menu. You must use the next feature if you like to multitask in your smartphone. You can use two applications at the same time in a single screen. Simply open any app, then swipe up by using three fingers like this. Now select the second application you want to use. As you can see, you will be able to use two applications at the same time in a single screen. If you want to log in with more than one account in any social media application, then you must use the next feature app cloner. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on apps. There you will see the option of app cloner. Click on this. Click on agree and continue. It will show all the apps which are clonable in your smartphone. Select the app and then enable this create app clone. It will take few seconds, then it will create the dual of this application. As you can see, I have two WhatsApp now. The first one is here, the second one is here, and I can log in with two different accounts in a single application. You can fully customize the shape, size, and even name of the apps icon in the smartphone. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on icons. Here you can adjust the size of the icons. If you want to change the shape of these icons, you can select material, pebble, or you can click on custom and select your favorite shape and then click on apply. Now, if you want to change the name of any application, then simply tap and hold on that application and then click on edit. Here, click on app name and then select the name as per your liking and then it will change the name of the app. If you are on home screen and you're using your phone with a single hand, then it feels really uncomfortable to reach at the top and open this notification center. But there's a gesture by which you can easily open this. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on more. There you will see the option of swipe down on home screen. Click on this. By default, it is selected to shelf. You have to select notification drawer. Now, whenever you are on home screen, you can simply swipe down on the empty area. Then it will open your notification center. 
Just like your desktop and laptop, you can use any app in floating window and you can keep on using your phone normally. Simple, o open any application, then put it in recent, click on these three dots and then click on floating window. Here you can adjust the size of the floating window and also drag and drop anywhere this floating window. And now you can keep on using your smartphone normally and it will remain there. You can also close it by clicking on this and then click on this close icon. You can also enable double tap to lock and double tap to wake your screen feature in the smartphone. Tap and hold on the home screen, click on more. Scroll down there, you will see the option of double tap to lock. Firstly, enable this. Scroll down little more and there you will see the option of double tap to wake or turn off screen. Now, whenever you are on home screen, you can simply double tap on the empty area. It will lock your phone and you can double tap on the locked screen. Then it will wake your screen up. There's a cool feature in your audio settings. Simply open your settings and then click on sounds and vibration. Scroll down to the bottom and then click on O reality audio. Here, firstly, you have to connect your earphones and now you can select any category as per your usage. For example, if you're watching any movie, then you can select this movie category and then it will enhance your listening experience as per your selected category. You must enable the next feature if you like to multitask in your smartphone, simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on special features. Scroll down there, you will see the option of smart sidebar, click on this and then enable this. Now it will start showing a transparent bar on the right side of the screen like this. You can swipe to the left to open this sidebar. Here you have a lot of options. You can screenshot, you can screen record, you can also translate on the real time any page with the help of this screen translate feature. You can also temporarily save any file in this file doc. And now if you will open any app from this sidebar, it will open it in floating window just like this. And you can keep on using your smartphone normally and it will remain in floating window. So with the help of this, you can multitask easily and open any of your favorite application very conveniently. If you want to change the shape of these settings in your notification bar, then you can also do this. Simply open your settings scroll down and then click on wallpaper and style again scroll down there you will see the option of quick settings click on this here you can select your favorite shape and it will change the shape of these settings in your control panel if you want to enable this fast torch feature in your smartphone then simply follow these steps open your settings scroll down and then click on additional settings there you will see the option of gesture and motions. Click on this and then enable this turn on or off torch with volume button. Now, whenever your screen is locked, you can simply long press your volume down button. It will turn on your flashlight and again, you can long press it. It will turn it off. Let's explore some of the screen of gestures in the smartphone. Open your settings, open additional settings and then click on gesture and motions. There on the top, you will see the option of screen of gestures. Click on this. There are a lot of options. First one is draw an O to open camera. If you will enable this and now whenever your phone is locked, you can simply draw an O, then it will automatically launch your camera application. As you can see, it has launched the camera application. So you can use this one to quickly access your camera app whenever your phone is locked. The third option is draw a V to turn torch on or off. If you will enable this, now whenever your phone is locked, you can simply draw a V, then it will turn on your flashlight as you can see. And if you will draw it again, it will turn it off. Now, if you want to set any of your favorite application to draw any letter, then simply select any of these options. For example, I have selected this draw W. Click on open an app, then select your favorite application. For example, I use Gmail a lot. Now enable this, click on got it. Now, whenever my screen is locked, I can simply draw a W then it will automatically launch my Gmail. If you use your phone at night a lot, then you must enable these two features to protect your eyes. Simply open your settings and then click on display and brightness. The first one is dark mode. If you will enable this, then it will turn all the whites into black. So it will decrease the pressure on your eyes. And the second one is eye comfort. If you will enable this, then it will turn the colors of the screen little bit warmer. It will also decrease the pressure on your eyes. You can adjust the intensity from low to high or you can also schedule this eye comfort feature as per your liking. If you want to hide your photos, videos, etc. then you don't have to download any third party app. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on security and privacy. Scroll down to the bottom and then click on private safe. You have to set a privacy password. 
you can set a six digit password or you can set a pattern alphanumeric etc here i select a six digit password answer a security question and then click on done now select images and videos click on add then it will automatically hide your photos and videos in the smartphone is the life of your battery then you must enable this next feature simply open your settings and then click on battery scroll down there you will see the option of smart charging enable this then it will charge your phone up to 80% normally then take a little bit extra time to charge your phone fully with the help of this you can increase the life span of your battery these were some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of Oppo F27 5G smartphone if this was helpful for you then please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you have any question please drop it down in the comment section we will see you in the next one till then have fun and keep on exploring your smartphone